Oh my god. Goose, start your engine. Okay, I forgot to uh, record, so I do want to apologize, so... Anyways, I do want to apologize that uh, we've um, accidentally uh, hit the uh, recording button. But anyway, we'll, we'll just start from there. So I do want to apologize, so, so anyways, uh, so hello everyone and welcome over to race number 27 of the NR 2003 PME Cup Series here at Chicagoland. As you can see, Sabre Fox is on pole position for Furry Row Motorsports and uh, as you can see, Fully Hill starting in second place, Nathaniel Campbell third, Trey Meeks fourth place, Jackie Daytona in fifth place, Henry G. Brown sixth place, Adita Baggins in seventh, Aaron Thiel in eighth, Drew Walker in ninth and Zachary VK in uh, tenth position. So I do want to apologize for almost not being able to hit the record button. So I do apologize. So um, but anyways, we'll uh, start over from, from then. In fact, you know what? Let's stop right there and uh, show you the, uh, the standings from there. So. Um, Okay, here are the point standings come up to the, come up to, coming up to this race. Um, I'm not going to say, well, I'm not going to say really anything. I'll just show you the uh, the playoff standings coming up to this race, and then we'll start the race from there. So, anyways, that is it. So. Um, Anyways, let's make a start from there, so. And away we go. And let's see if Super Fox can pull it off with, uh, with a win, made a win probably, so.
Sable Fox in the lead. Faber Fox still in the lead, and that is Trey Meeks up into second place, chasing down the 87 car. And uh, there's Henry G. Brown up into third place, one of the contenders in the playoffs. So. Here comes Trey Meeks trying to overtake Saber Fox on the outside line. But will he actually go for that pass? Oh, tricky, tricky track here to pass here at Chicago Land as usual. Well, we always get these uh, tricky passes down there, especially on the inside line. But it looks like Trey Meeks is just, is, is just trying to fight for it. Super Fox still in the lead. Trey Meeks up into second place still. Henry G. Brown still in third. Zachary VK, one of the other contenders in fourth place. And he is he, he is in a spot he wants to be. If he finishes in that spot, then uh, this could hopefully give him a chance of a boost up to the field, up, up in the playoffs. David Dixon in a very comfortable fifth place. Sixth place, I mean. And there is Owen Scott, one of the strong contenders of the chase. Just in case I didn't show you the qualifying standings earlier on, because obviously I've had to be in a rush because I forgot to record it, so I do apologize once again for having to start this quite hastily. So, yeah, because honestly, it's not easy because I am actually tired because it is actually four o'clock in the morning where I am so I mean good thing I work in the evening so but uh, 
And it's, 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 it's unfortunate, basically. It's just because I'm, I'm going holiday very soon, so obviously this would mean we, we will be having no races, no no recorded races for about a, a couple of weeks from then. So once again, I do want to apologize. This is not the first time I have had issues and mishaps as well. Um, of course, um, other thing, other things have happened in the last race, especially, especially when I forgot to put put down my microphone. That was because I was just tired. So, once again, I apologize. So, hopefully, well, I'm hopeful to maybe do one race in the uh, probably during the daytime instead of at night time because. I guess it's better if if it's not night time because I get really tired so but anyway oh and I was not able to reveal this um whilst it was being recorded but now I can reveal it now that Lane Hill is now in Lane Motorsports again in the 54 car and he'll he will be swapping with Jackie D. Turner in the 18 car if I can find him right now and he's right there He's on a temporary scheme at the moment. I can't seem to see him. Yep, he's here. He's right there. But right now, Saber Fox is still your race leader. And he's still right in front over there. Looks like Trey Meeks and Henry Gibran are battling it out. And we've got caution as we can find out what happened. Oh my god, that looks awful. Flander Wilson and... Xander Howell got involved. Let's see what. Oh, Cameron Senior. Senior's not in a good position there. He is certainly gonna have um, impact with um, the chase as a result of that collision. Yep, he, he had slapped him really hard. Yep, he's out of the race. And he's definitely not gonna score any points, I don't think, in the playoffs. Playoffs, even I could be wrong, but he's certainly going to finish in last place as a result of that early departure from the race. Vander Howell, Vander Howell's car is also in ruins as a result. Let's take a look from another angle. On board Vander Howell. that was it. And pit stops are coming in and let's see who's going to end up first 
in the pit in the pit lane in pit road I mean Oops, sorry. Yep, I skipped a lap. I do apologize. <laughs> yeah, cuz I'm I'm really tired, so I'm so I'm so stupid. So, oh, be besides that as well, I forgot to also mention um basically, I've not done races for 2 weeks because I've been mentally unstable. I have I've had a lot of things in my mind that unfortunately prevented me from doing the races so I do want to apologize but anyway Cyber Fox is still the leader right now train me second play but where's Henry Gibran? Henry Gibran has lost a space he has lost a, a spot to Aaron Field who is now in third place Oh look, Trey Mix is getting closer to Saber Fox. He's definitely battling it out with Saber Fox as he tries to get past Saber Fox. Saber Fox still controlling a little bit in the line. Whoa! Was that a bit of a bump from Aaron Thiel? Looks like it to me. We've seen two cars drafting it out and battling it out. It's certainly looking good down there. For the car at the front, we could see a very strong battle, hopefully. Seaman Fox might start to lose out a little bit. Here comes Trey Meeks. Is he actually going to try and overtake Saber Fox on the outer line? Not, not, no way. Not yet. But it is getting racy for Trey Meeks. Is he actually going to make it on the on the inside line this time? Not, not really. I think Saber Fox got the better outline on the outside line. It's very unusual though. I don't know what's stopping Trey Meeks from trying to overtake Saber Fox. Yeah, the line is definitely not really looking very well stable. Well, it's somehow um, it's somehow not affecting other drivers from doing something, especially whilst it was drafting. Oh, Aaron feel almost about to be let loose, but luckily held on held on to it, so And Trey Meeks 
I don't know if, he, if he's about to be let loose, but he is now following Saber Fox on the outside line. I think he's just trying to uh, use his outside line, uh, I think so. Dreamy is going for it once again, but is he actually going to make it stick?
Looks like pit stops are going to be coming soon as Riley Hill, as you just saw, has made his pit stop as Saber Fox continues to lead. But will this shake up the whole field when it comes to the pit stop lane, the, the pit stop cycle? So we'll see what happens. Looks like Riley Hill is gonna Riley Hill has joined the race, but he's now getting close to the other the rest of the field as um Sabre Fox. We don't know how long they're gonna stay up for, but we'll see. Riley Hill appears to be faster, so this is going to get interesting as we come up to just coming up to just over 20 laps to go. He is definitely on the escape mode right there. Riley Hill, he is like a lap down. So I don't know if he'll be able to get back on the lead lap, but we'll see. We'll see how things go from there. This looks like everyone else is going to make their pit stop. Oh no! Caution is out. Let's see what happened. What happened? Was there debris caution? It doesn't look like... Well, well, I was going to say, was there a debris caution? Because it doesn't look like anything happened. It looks like a debris caution to me. We'll, fi now, we'll find out. It doesn't look like anything happened. So, likely debris caution to me. It was still yellow, so we'll have to go back a little bit more and find out what happened. In fact, we'll just keep it uh, there for the time being. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like anything happened. So, a debris caution. Is seem is seemingly the likely option. It's it's the likely reason for this caution. So everyone makes their pit stop, and that is certainly going to hit Riley Hill really badly, I think, because he's like already a lap down, and I don't think he'll be able he'll be able to get his lap back though. They're probably going to pit for fuel. Oh no, tires. Well, here we go again. Well, take your places. Don't fight for places during the caution.
so everyone will start behind Riley Hill, who is soon to be lapped, but we'll find out eventually, so. I think, because everyone else pitted, that means Riley Hill is going to bowl it. Anyways, here we go. Let's see how this race will go on for the next 17 laps. Here we go, pace car pulls in, and away we go. Will Riley Hill cause a hold up, or will he be friendly and let them through? Uh, Saber Fox, Fever Fox continues to lead, but will it be a pass this time? Oh, Riley Hill blocks him. He's trying to defend his lap. No, that's not looking good for the 87 car. Oh, what a fight. Oh, and Aaron Thiel is Aaron, Aaron trying to draft right uh, behind Saber Fox. Oh, my God. Now, that is some defensive driving for Riley Hill. He's definitely, he's definitely messing up everyone's race. But will he hold on for much longer? I don't know. Absolute aggressive driving for from Riley Hill right there.
looks like it's the end of the race. As Guo and Reynolds collided with each other, and what a flip off for Olivia Reynolds. Well, that is a CTM catastrophe down there. What a catastrophe for these two drivers, these two teammates. Okay, away we go again. We're just skipping through really, really quickly. So anyways, we're going for a free lap shootout and we're going racing again for the third time here at Chicagoland. Here we go.